What's up guys, my name is Brandon and today Apple released iOS 18 beta 3 to registered developers. Now along with this release, we also got iPadOS 18 beta 3, watchOS 11 beta 3, tvOS 18 beta 3, and visionOS 2 beta 3. But of course in this video we're talking all about iOS 18 beta 3. So you can see the size of this update came in relatively small for an early version of iOS 18 at 1.18 gigabytes and then if we check out the build number and our settings general about iOS version the new build number is 22A5307F so we went from an F in beta 2 at the end of the build number to another F at the end of the build number here in beta 3 so I would not expect a dramatic improvement in terms of performance but of course it still will be better because it is a beta 3 compared to beta 2 so we're trying to get close to A that of course does usually indicate when we are getting close to a full stable build and then if we go back and go down to the modem firmware we did receive a nice update here so we went from 2.13.0 to 2.14.01 so if you had any issues with the modem before on beta 2 that could be improved with beta 3. all right so now what's new here in ios 18 beta 3 and the first thing i noticed is that number one we have a new dark mode maps icon so you can see beta 2 on the left beta 3 on the right the maps icon looks a lot better it's a little bit brighter than it was in beta 2 for the dark mode icon and then also you'll notice on the home screen right away that third-party applications a lot more third-party applications now have a dark mode icon so if you switch your icons to dark of course if you go to edit customize and switch this to dark you will see here's what they look like before ios 18 beta 3 and here's what they look like after so apple added you know different shading to these applications so it is a software update to get these dark mode icons it is not an update that was pushed by the developers of the applications now of course not all third-party applications have a dark mode just yet but i think that's apple's end goal you can see some of these up there still do not have a dark mode variant but a lot of them do now in iOS 18 beta 3 so the dark mode setups will look a lot better moving forward so you can see a lot more of them in here as well have a dark variant to the icon also new in iOS 18 beta 3 is if you go into the keyboard and go to your emoji picker down here we have a new interface so first off up top where it says search emoji where you have your search bar that is now more rounded off than it was in beta 2 just slightly also the emojis themselves are larger so you can see this is our recent emojis or if we go to the smileys much bigger you know to choose the emojis easier and then if we go all the way over to the left we now have our me emojis built in to this keyboard so before we only had stickers and that was it to get to the emojis you had to click on the plus and then go to more and then go to me emoji right there but now with ios 18 beta 3 it is built in to the emoji keyboard which is nice and convenient and you'll see that we have a plus right here as well so if you tap on the plus that's where you can add a memoji if we go to add a new wallpaper and go down to the ios 18 section we now have an animation so you can see that these wallpapers will now animate at least the first one will that's because we now have a dynamic ios 18 wallpaper so before you could only choose between different colors and light or dark mode but now you can see we have a dynamic option which will switch between the different colors and light and dark mode throughout the day this update also brings a change to the flashlight so if we go ahead and turn on the flashlight you can see that the animation the dynamic island little animation is much larger than it was in betas 1 and betas 2 and also the ui is different so if we go ahead and haptic press on that the ui has changed so before in ios 18 beta 2 we just had this skinny line up top and this other line over here on the side to change the beam and the intensity but now in beta 3 that's a little bit better and a little bit easier to understand so now it not only moves easier as well but you can see it's more descriptive with what it's actually doing here we have these two different lines and then we have the brightness right there as well so you can tell if you are you know expanding or focusing in on a, a different subject with the beam and then also to make it brighter and lower the brightness of the flashlight that whole animation is much better more fluid and this whole platter is now bigger in the fitness application if you go into the activity rings section and then go down to the bottom where you change your goals we have a change here so before in ios 18 beta 1 and 2 it said custom move goal but now it's been changed to move goal schedule 
also up here in the top right and now says daily instead of basic this whole graph looks a little bit different and then also down here the Monday Tuesday Wednesday the days of the week are larger and then all the way down at the bottom we have a slight difference in the color and it also now says set move goal schedule instead of set move goal something else that's changed is if you go to the plus or the minus let's say on Monday it goes up by 20 calories whereas before it only went in variants of 10 so anytime you press the plus or the minus it would only go down or up by 10 now it's by 20 and if you tap on the plus or minus next to one of your move exercise or stand sections and now says change schedule instead of adjust goal schedule and the glyph icon to the right of that has changed as well in beta 3 and then there's also a new splash screen for the fitness app that tells you about the new features coming in iOS 18 we have a few changes in the photos application so first off up in the top right hand corner you can see that we can now select by default without having to fill up the screen so this is one of my biggest complaints with the photos app in beta 1 and 2 is that if you open up the photos app by default search would show up there up in the top right hand corner you would not be able to select multiple photos until you swipe down and filled up the screen and then you would see the option to select but now with beta 3 you have the option to select photos by default without filling up the entire screen with those you know with that grid of photos also the select and search options have been flipped and of course we can see that the search icon is now blue instead of just the gray gradients like we had before and there's also a new animation if you press on select so if we tap select we have an animation where the whole grid takes up the whole screen now and if you go into an individual photo we used to have a little rounded edge on each of these photos until it filled up the screen but that is no longer here in beta 3 so it's no longer rounded on these borders the photo will still zoom out but if you look closely at the corners they're not as rounded off as they were beforehand heading into the settings if you go into the control center section we now have an animated how-to guide up top so it shows you the control center and basically how to navigate and how to work with the control center so it's nice and animated there that did not exist in beta 2 it just said swipe down from the top right edge to open control center and that was it and then speaking of the control center if you go into the control center there's something different with the opacity here so you will see in beta 3 it seems like the icons are less opaque than they were in beta 2 so the icons were all darker they're a little bit lighter here in beta 3 also if you go down to the network section we now have these arrows where you can change Bluetooth connections easily you can change Wi-Fi and airdrop very easily so you could just tap on that and you get this new little interface here to quickly change between whatever option you want for airdrop whereas before you just turned it off or if you have to press you got that option but now it's a bit easier and you can see here how much lighter the you know interface is as well we have a new spot Flash screen for the podcast application so it shows you precise sharing where you can share a link from a specific time in that specific podcast episode faster search and more playback control where you can reorder your queue and navigate by chapter which we talked about previously but if you go into a podcast and go to the three dots right here and then go to share episode you'll see that we have an option here where it says from start if you tap on that you can share the podcast from a specific marker so if you're at the current spot if you're currently at 15 minutes and four seconds you can send that to somebody and it will start from that section for them just like you can do with YouTube videos and then we do also have faster search as well so you can see that search is quite a bit faster than it was in iOS 17 and it actually seems a little bit faster than it was in iOS 18 beta 1 and 2 as well in the shortcuts application we have a new animation when you go to create a new shortcut so I'll just have these two side by side and if we press on that you can see there's a slight difference in the animation there between the two it's a little bit smoother here in beta 3 so I'll show them individually so you can see that easier so if you go to iOS 18 beta 2 it just kind of came up from the bottom here in iOS 18 beta 3 if we do that same action it kind of fades in instead of swiping up from the bottom and also when you create a new shortcut the little text right here has changed so before it said create a shortcut to actions you do in your apps every day now it says add actions from below to create a shortcut and then something that I'm glad to see fixed in iOS 18 beta 3 is screen time so screen time was completely broken in beta 1 and 2 but now you can actually go into the screen time application without it crashing your entire settings application and if we take a look at the release notes there 
are quite a few resolved issues here in beta 3, but no new features that were not mentioned in the beta 2 release notes have been added. So really not a ton to talk about with the release notes, but if you do want to look through these, I will leave them linked down in the description below. And then as far as any other bugs or bug fixes go, I did want to mention that I never had any issues with my app icons not showing up. So I can switch between light and dark mode icons without having that, you know, broken look like we had in beta 2, especially when you first returned after updating the software. It was broken. You didn't have any app icons whatsoever, but that has been fixed. This whole interface seems to be a lot more stable here in beta 3. And the software in general does feel quite a bit better as well. So I did run a Geekbench test and we scored a 2768 on the single core and a 6774 on the multi core. So that is a bit lower than what we saw with beta 2, but this was a fresh run when the device was still hot and still indexing. So I'd like to run these, you know, right after updating the device and then also later on in the week. And I will share that updated score in my Apple Weekly episode on Saturday, where I will also talk about the performance and the battery life and how it's done throughout the week. But I will say I'm still at 84% battery life here on beta three. So I have a hunch that beta three battery life might actually be the first time we've had decent battery life in the iOS 18 beta cycle, but that is yet to be seen. I will update you guys on Saturday in that Apple weekly episode. Okay. So now let's talk about when to expect iOS 18 beta four and the iOS 18 public beta. So we are currently on a two week release schedule right now, and I would expect to see iOS 18 beta four in two to three weeks. So actually in you know recent years, Apple has waited three weeks to go from beta three to beta four. So we're going to see iOS 18 beta four at the earliest on the week of July 22nd, but I would not rule out the week of July 29th either. So it could come really any time in the next two to three weeks. And then as far as the public beta, typically the public beta comes out the week after the developer beta three. So this week we saw developer beta three, of course, in this video. So I would expect to see iOS 18 public beta, the first public beta on the week of July 15th. That's what Apple has done the past two years. So I would expect that to continue. But of course, Apple is unpredictable. They could really release that at any time. That is just my prediction. And then of course, we are slowly but surely approaching the final release date, which is coming out in mid to late September. So that is iOS 18 beta three, quite a few quality of life changes that I really like to see coming here in iOS 18, especially the emoji keyboard with Memojis added. We have the photos changes. We have the third party dark mode icons added. So really some nice changes changes here in beta three. And then for those wondering about Apple intelligence features, of course, the big Siri update is not coming until iOS 18.4 or sometime in 2025, which we talked about about a month ago. Now we've known that for quite a while, but we are expected to see at least some of the Apple intelligence features come over the next several months. But of course, nothing was added, at least visually here in beta three related to Apple intelligence. So we'll have to continue to wait for that. But anyways, guys, if you enjoyed the video, I would appreciate if you gave it a thumbs up. Also, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on my beta 4 and public beta coverage. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.